This is still a vocab question, but it's a slightly different style than the ones that we've seen earlier here. Um, you know, it's still talking about a word, obviously. What does the word answers most nearly mean? It, it gives us a different kind of text here, though. Um, it's not a blank, right? It's just the word is already in there. Um, I don't really have a good strategy for these. To be honest, I, it, it just, the ones that I've seen, it the right answer just kind of makes sense. So I guess you're kind of like guessing and checking almost and filling in the blank. Um, I guess the, the main thing to worry about, though, is that the word answer is not an uncommon word, right? You know what that means, but you can't necessarily just pick the choice that you think defines that word. It's being used in a certain context, and we need to stick to the context. So something like uh, explains would be prob probably a trap here. Um, it, if you answer a question, you kind of explain some sort of solution or something like that, right? But that's not what it means here. If it, we substituted that in, it wouldn't make sense. It was not effective. It no longer explains the requirements of modern engineering. Nature has no idea of keeping pace with modern labor. Basically, they're, they're saying something is bad, I guess, and it no longer explains. Like, no, we want something like it no longer meets the requirements. Like, it's, it's bad, we should get rid of it, is what they're saying. So explains is just you're forcing it in here mostly because you you really want that to be the definition, but it doesn't really make sense in the sentence. Um, the answer then is D, which is pretty much what I was saying. Uh, it was not effective. It no longer fulfills the requirements of modern engineering, right? And hopefully that just sounds normal, right? You fulfill a requirement. You don't explain a requirement or at least not in this sense. So that it just doesn't really make sense for any of these other choices to be right to rebut is to kind of like prove wrong. So they're not proving the requirements wrong. They're not saying they're bad requirements. It's not about that. And defends like, no, it's about meeting requirements. And that's a normal kind of thing to put in that. I bet that if there were no blank, or sorry, I bet, I bet if there were no word there and it were a blank, you would have no problem picking D. I think the only reason people are gonna struggle here is they don't really know like what the question is asking. So they're just kind of defining the word answers without thinking about what it means in the context. So I guess that's a strategy is don't just define the word, fill it in as a blank and kind of just see what fits in the context. Don't worry about what the actual word that's there is because you'll be able to see what it means based on the choices, not based on your memory of what the word means. I don't know, hopefully that's something.